Morning. I finished the fourth in the Lucy Barton series, Lucy by the Sea by Elizabeth, sorry, by Elizabeth Strout. And this is shortlisted for the Rathbones Folio Prize, which will be announced on Monday the 27th. Um, I read this partly because it was on the prize, but partly because I've read the other three in the series. Um, the latest one, O. William, which was shortlisted for the bookers last year. So I was uh, intrigued to pick this one up. And this one is set in March 2020, right at the start of lockdown. And Lucy's husband, ex, sorry, ex-husband William, um, begs her to go with him to leave New York and to um, escape to a coastal house that he's rented in Maine. And uh, she reluctantly agrees and she leaves her flat where she's got all the memories of her recently bereaved husband, David, um, leaves her two daughters and she goes to Maine with her ex-husband, William. And weeks turn into months and it's just Lucy and William. And in here you get her feelings as she's navigating living with her ex-husband again. You get her memories of her childhood. You get her grief still for her, um, her husband David, the one who died. You get her isolation, her loneliness and her fear. A fear, a fear of everything because everything during this time, the fear was ramped up. She watches the news every day, but she can't bear to watch the news. She watches the news, but she turns away because the news at that time, it was full of numbers and cases and she is full of fear at that time. And... It is a lovely book. I love this writing style. Um, it does feel as though you just dropped into a coffee shop and met an old friend. You are part of Lucy Barton's conversation. You feel that she is talking to you. She And, and that is a lovely style. It is such an easy read for that reason, because it's just like having a conversation with a friend. And it, it's about connections as well. Um, the connections that she forms with, with her ex-husband. The connections that she slowly forms with people in Maine. And the bonds between her and her daughters that stretch and contract and stretch and contract and the isolation and the loneliness she feels because she's a part of, of, of away from them and can't, can't visit them. And as it says here, at the heart of this novel, the deep human connections that sustain us, even as the world seems to be falling apart. Uh, a novel of hope. And yeah, I do hope we get to meet Lucy again. I do hope that Elizabeth Stroud is going to write a fifth one because I'd love to see what she does next, what Lucy does next. So that's Lucy by the Sea. Um, Monday the 27th, we'll find out whether it won the uh, Rathbones folio. So uh, happy reading. Take care.